Well, we're very privileged to have um, on the call today Rhiannon Galatly. Uh, Rhiannon is a graduate of our CERT 4 program at the Australian Paramedical College. And uh, Rhiannon, you're now in your final semester of the bachelor degree. Congratulations. How does that feel? It's amazing. It's been a bit of a journey, so it's nice to see it. The light at the end of the tunnel, really. I can imagine. Um, and we want to hear about that journey. So um, tell us, uh, you're in your um, uh, early 20s now and you've kind of come uh, pretty much straight out of school into study. Um, tell us about your journey. What was that like? It was kind of just all up in the air. Like I didn't really have any clear idea of what I wanted to do or where I wanted to be in the future. And I had so many interests and just wasn't really sure what you know, where they would take me and I got accepted into a law and science degree that I deferred because I wasn't ready for university yet. So um, just let that one simmer for a little bit and did some thinking and a bit of soul searching and looked into some more career paths and I found the cert for and thought I'd give that a go and see where it could lead me and yeah, it's led me to my bachelor and I'm nearly done and it's been pretty incredible. What was it about the paramedical science that drew you? Just like the actual work itself, like, you know, you're not stuck in an office, you're not stuck in the same building with the same people every day, you know, it's so unpredictable and it's exciting work, you know, you get to drive in ambulances like code one lights and sirens to jobs and, you know, it might be a really big job it, or it could be, you know, someone just not feeling their best that day and, you know, just goes from one end of the spectrum to the other and it you know, you're in control of that and it's a lot of clinical decision making that falls onto you and it's, yeah, it's a challenging job that I'm very excited to hopefully be a part of soon. You enrolled and were accepted into into yep. Vic Uni. Did your cert for help you in that enrolment? Yeah, so because I had applied a couple of years after I after I finished grade twelve, um, I had to apply as a mature age student. So you have to write like a cover letter, you have to submit relevant documentation. Um, and the cert was one of those things that I had to submit and it just helped strengthen my application um, to get into a position because you know, so many people now are interested in paramedicine, so it's quite competitive to get in. Um, so just having that cert for, I think, really helped strengthen the application through VTAC. So it was good. Is there anything else that the cert for prepared you for for uni, uh, throughout uni? Yeah, so just starting like your first year, just having that kind of familiarisation with like in industry knowledge, industry terminology, um, you know, the lingo. In the workshops we went through scenarios, so my first year of placement was semester one with a non-emergency um, department and I just felt really prepared to be in that environment, like I wasn't really nervous going on my first placement shift. I knew what to expect because it's what the cert for trains you for and it was just made that progression a lot smoother and easier. Awesome and I also understand that um, you you got a job uh, in the industry while you've been studying, is that right? I did, so again from the cert for I've been able to get a position with St John Ambulance in Victoria as a patient transport officer. So that lets me do non-emergency like private shifts. So just like your ED discharges to care facilities or residential addresses, um, as well as some Ambulance Victoria shifts. Awesome, okay. Um, so tell us what it's like studying at university level, uh, the Bachelor of Paramedicine. It's pretty full on, like you start off year one, you've got your four subjects and um, you know, some of them are just really in-depth and intense. Like we did a legal subject and it was literally all about health acts and laws and then you go on to your next class and you'll be doing pharmacology. So you're looking at like drug actions and how drugs are made and how they work and then you go do your clinical hands-on subjects and it's like practicing on the mannequins, you know, using all your skills and your tools and putting them into action and then, you know, you do that for a while and then you transition through to where we are now and we literally get thrown any scenario and we're expected to just know what to do. So it's, it's quite a evolution of skill and knowledge in a very short amount of time. 
Do you think you would have been ready for uni straight out of school? No, not at all. I had no idea what I wanted to do and uh, I was so used to the routine of high school and I just would not have adapted well, I reckon. I would have probably struggled with the workload and stress management and it just would not have been good. So what now for Rhiannon? So I'm in the process of applying for Ambulance Victoria at the moment. Um, so put my applications in, see where that'll take me. Um, but there is a bit of a wait list in Victoria at the moment. So see what the time frame's looking like and might apply over in Canada where I did some of my placements and um, maybe move back up to Queensland, apply for the service up there. It's yeah, it's a it's a degree that you can really take wherever you want. Like London Ambulance Service is always hiring Australian paramedic students. Like Canada's like Vancouver in particular, they're so excited at the concept of having more Australians coming over and working for the service because we have that extended set of knowledge. Like it's yeah, there's a lot. I don't really know. It's quite exciting at the moment. Awesome, man. That sounds exciting. And um, I'm, uh, yeah, congratulations for where you are. I mean, uh, did you imagine that you'd kind of be <laughs> in this position, no. getting out of school? <laughs> not at all. Not at all. I had no idea that this is where I'd be, but I'm pretty happy it's where I've gotten. Awesome. Well, all the best with it and all the best with your studies for your last semester. Thank you again for your time this morning and all the best. No Thank you. Cheers, Rhiannon.